Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I'm back with the fall look, and I was actually going through some of my products to make sure that they're still workable, and I'm happy to report that my Max Studio Radiance um, is doing really well right now. I'm not sure what shade it is exactly, but it's still working and doesn't have any weird smells right now. And let's see, what else did I do? I did go ahead and use the e.l.f. Uh, Light Rosy as far as my highlighter today, so I do have that on as well. And then I did go ahead and use the Essence uh, Make Me Brow. And I think I actually mixed this one. I have this shade, which is a light brown. I have a darker brown. And yeah. I did mix these two. So I mixed the lighter brown and the darker brown together to go ahead and get this. Um, as far as what I went ahead and did on the cheeks, and let me get that for you. I went ahead and picked up the Buttermelt Face Palettes. There's a light and a dark one. I picked up both of them. And then today for my blush, I'm actually going ahead and using the Tangerine um, blush over here and then as far as my bronzer I'm actually using this shade right here so that's what I have on um, to go ahead and do uh, the cheek look I did go ahead and use a little bit of the highlighter and I use the master chrome and peach so this is what I have on as far as the highlighter right now and then getting into the actual look itself, I went ahead and grabbed uh, Rock On from ColourPop, and this is on their website. Uh, this particular palette really brings out green eyes a lot. And um, what I wanted to do, to do today was to go ahead and use black eyeliner to see if that was going to make... Um, because I already knew that this palette really does a lot for green eyes, and I guess it's the orange and the green. They're different places on the color wheel, opposites. So, um, so I knew this color palette made green eyes pop. What I wanted to see was would it do the same with the black eyeliner. So, um, as far as what I did, I went ahead and used this right below the brow and then I went ahead and used this color from here to here. Um, I did go ahead and use uh, this one right on the lid itself and then this one on the outer corner and then I did do a little bit of this like right in this area but I did bring in another palette and the palette that I brought in is the Revolution Hyper Real? Yeah, hi, Hyper Real. And this is a palette that has a whole bunch of duo chromes and multi chromes. And so I started with this shade and I just put it like right above the crease. And then I put some of this shade. I think I'm going to put some more in there. And so I just sort of built it up a little bit there. So you got your, yeah, let's see, so make sure you get my colors right, yeah. Um, so you're going to have these two colors, these two colors right in the crease, and then you can have this color and this color right above the crease. And we could even bring in some of this. So, yeah. This is a good topper palette. It has um, multi chromes and duo chromes and a whole bunch of uh, different formulas. I've been able to get one or two full looks out of here, but I'm just finding that I like to use it as a topper palette. And so that's what I had on there. I um, did go ahead and use the NYX. This one's from Beetlejuice. And uh, this is their black eye eyeliner. And so I did go ahead and use that both on the bottom and the top of the lashes to see if this, um, if I do this color pop, 
palette with um, I know it'll turn my eyes that makes the green pop in my eyes but will it still do it if I have a really black eyeliner to go along with it so um, I do have some mascara on but I think I'm going to add a little bit more I think my mascara kind of got lost in all this. So, I don't know, does it make them pop more? Yeah. Looking at them now, I'm not sure if it really does that. They're definitely still green. They haven't done that hazel thing where they'll turn into whatever color I'm wearing. Um, so the colors in the eyeshadow box to go ahead and bring out the green. And um, yeah, I think you can still see the green, but with the black eyeliner, it isn't popping as much as it was without the black eyeliner. And so, um, yeah, learn something every day, huh? Um, let's see, I am using one of the Dollar Tree uh, color lips, and so that's what I have on as far as the lip goes. Did use some of the Meta Glow by Essence as well. So that's the way that that worked out. And yeah, I think it is a fun fall look. It um, definitely goes that for that deeper tone, some of those deeper, deeper orange uh, looks and um, orange red look actually here. And so yeah, I think it turned out kind of fun, but it's definitely an experiment. And uh, I think the only thing I didn't mention was that I used the Catrice Sungasm finishing powder for the top. And we're all done for the day, and I hope that you have a great day. See you later. Bye.